So, here's a statement for you. People tend to want to get rich quick and they want excitement, so they tend to go for companies that operate in risky areas like mining, oil and gambling. Is it true that investing in boring utility companies tends to make the best investments over time? Interesting statement. If you're in the, if you, by, the, by definition, the best returns over time, the best, the best result over time, invariably the people that would do that over a 40, 50 year period are probably not doing the opposite, which is trading like somebody like, like I am. So it might be the best investment for them, but it might be the only investment for them. So I think one of the things you've got to be wary of is if you're getting 7% return on paper, but you're losing 2% return per year through fees, that's going to have a huge effect on where you are at the end. Now that doesn't mean as a result of that you should suddenly go and put all your money into Forex trading. But the one thing that I don't have is I don't have fund management fees, I don't have all of these other things. But I started young and I uh, am allocating my risk accordingly and, and sticking to my risk. So I think it's, it's difficult to say that it's the best. It's one way of doing it. Certainly for certain people that would be the best route because Forex, it's, it's, it's too much risk or too much perceived risk for them. But I think you could easily do both. You could easily be running a 7% return as, as, as essentially one wealth bucket, one strategy, and then you could be doing Forex trading with a smaller amount of money alongside it. And it may be over time that you look at it and go, well, I'm getting consistent over here, so I could allocate some of that funds over here, or take some of that funds and, and push it across so you can, you, can, you can do that. So with me, I've got three different, I've got a position-based trading account, a swing trading account, and a day trading account. And overall, there's an overall goal to accumulate there, but I've got a different, different strategies over time. I would struggle to do anything where I give my money to somebody else and a 7% return plus fees would, would drive me mad. But I've got the experience and the strategies, I've got an alternative. If somebody was saying, if it's 7% and fees or nothing, yeah. be in the market, absolutely. Some investors may not even realise it, but they're not in it for the money, they're actually in it for the entertainment factor. Isn't the stock market a very expensive way to get that? Absolutely, especially if you're not doing it correctly. Um, what I've noticed as somebody who teaches people is people come to me, yes, they, the, the overriding goal is they say, well, they want to make money, they want to change their situation, they want an additional income or whatever it is. But quite interesting enough, over time, people will stick around for different reasons. I have uh, one student and she's been part of our trading room for seven years. And she says, I'm, I can trade, I'm doing really well, but I have no one else to talk to about trading. So I like the community element that I can, got people that I can relate to. Now that's great for her because she's doing well and she's getting a return, but there could be somebody else that likes the like-minded nature of that community but isn't doing the things necessary. And that's where as a coach I have to make sure that you're not just hanging around. Um, and you get the same thing as people get the buzz. So they talk about the buzz of trading. Um, I try and get my adrenaline or buzzes from, from, from other places. I certainly realized early on that I was too emotionally attached to what I was doing. So I had to, number one, reduce that emotion in my trading, and now it's more of a relaxing thing that I do. But I also had to find other mechanisms. It's like giving something up. If you, if you give up smoking, you need to I think you need to replace it with something else. It's easy to give something up if you replace it. So if, I, so if you're sitting there going, you, 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 you're addicted to the buzz of trading, you need to remove that addiction. You need to replace that with um, maybe something external from trading, or put more focus onto your back testing. So say this week, my goal is to trade my strategy, but also do 50 tests from the last year. So then I've got two elements going, and actually they will have a positive effect on, on the other one. Can I just ask, can you just ask, um, if you don't want to have any stress, why don't you just follow somebody like you and follow your trades, and basically then there is no emotional involvement. It's simply a case of, you know, you've committed 1% of whatever your savings are, and you're just going to follow you and assume yeah. that you'll do well. That and, and this is what the whole, you know, robot buy, sell, buy, sell is based on. I'm a guru, I've created a robot, you just follow it. But the problem is, is that there's all the other work emotionally that I've done. So I know my strategy, I know I will commit to my strategy longer than somebody who hasn't done it. So that's kind of, I, I want people to, to follow me, but what I want them to do is take, a, take my strategy and change it just ever so slightly. 
So they might go, well, I like that bit about it, but I'm going to add that. Because in a way, what happens is there's an ownership. So you do take an element of stress out by following somebody like me, but you will still have a month where I don't, you know, I'm scratch around and make a percent. Now, if that person's context is that they were expecting to make five, they may bail on it. So it, although they're following me, they're not necessarily following me with quite the same context. But yeah, that's, that's our philosophy with Trader Support Club is you could go and try and do this on your own, but take a lot of the stress out, but not go the other way, which is, you know, all your, we've answered all your prayers because you can follow us. You've still got to do a little bit of the work.